So, welcome back to another episode. Got the birds up having a little bit of a fly. They're not too far off coming in, but what we've done today, spent the afternoon working on the floor for the new aviary that we're going to install in our pigeon loft modernization, which is going to be this one, a bit of an upgrade to what we've got. Um, like I said in the last video, that one, we're moving that loft and we're making it much bigger. You can see this section here is just the aviary for that loft, so um, considerably bigger. This one is 1.225 or something like that long. So just over 1.2 meters in the actual depth of it, which um, is heaps bigger because the other one is only about here somewhere. So we've got that extra width on there that makes a huge difference. And we've also added on another thing that's about 1.2 meters that way. So that gives it a 3.6, which makes it heaps bigger than that tiny little one we've got on over here. Um, and the greys are much nicer color as well This one is a little bit different than the other one. The other one actually sits on top this one I've countersunk in and gone flush Which is a lot better. It's a lot neater a lot nicer um, So when the rest of the framing and stuff goes on up here, uh, it's not in the way We don't have to cut little angles out like we did on the other one. Um, it's just all neat and tidy. So It's looking pretty good. Um I can walk on there. I've just put in all these little brackets on the side there so it actually sits in there nice and neat. The only thing I probably need to do is just number each one of these so that they all go into this position. There is a few in um, different sizes just because the way this sheet was cut. I've got this pre-cut. This was going to be for my other loft. Um, pretty interesting though. This stuff I do, now, well, I'm seriously considering my new when I build my dream loft, the one that I really want is having the whole entire floor made out of this stuff. I can get smaller holes, so I'll probably look at something like that. But um, this is looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Look at the size of that. It's beautiful, actually. I'm really happy with that. The color's better. Um, and this is all going to be painted, too. I'm going to paint this with a waterproof paint um, once we get the whole frame set up because it's going to be quite tall i think at the highest point it's going to be two meters so it's going to be a very very big aviary and trapping and entry for them as well probably going to look at a a sliding door on the front as well because i think that's going to be much neater um, as well it's going to be pretty interesting i'm going to spend a bit more time on this one and make it a lot nicer that was a bit of a rush job but i like that but this is going to be the new and improved version so i'm pretty excited about it Let's bring these birds in and um, get ready for tomorrow's video as well, the next one, because I'm going to do the whole process on this build, because this one's going to be pretty exciting. It's going to be that next level up, and it's kind of, this going to be a bit of a training for me um, in building and whatnot. Come on. This Avery section is super useful. I find this one a little bit small. Um, that's why I've gone a bit bigger. But I have been enjoying feeding the birds out here because any seeds that get spilt go actually into the ground there. And then obviously my chickens come through later and give that a bit of a tidy up. Here come the last of the birds now. Start dropping in. Come on, beefcake. In you go. And obviously when we get a bigger loft it's going to be much nicer to have this big outside section most of the time i'm going to feed them in, inside but um, sometimes it's just nice to bring them out in the sun come on come on you two girls come on all right that's good and also another thing that i'm going to fix is this 
as well that was my original training box but um i've since found a far better way to do it which i've used over here um, but we'll go into a totally different video in that one as well i'm pretty sure our new trap is going to be a little bit more different than that one um, now we've got a bigger aviary section in this new one this upgrade it's going to be far easier to um utilize different methods of trapping them in so yeah not so much trapping but just the entrance because they come in because they know there's some good food because we definitely got some really good food now nice little mix they go crazy for so yeah that's good that was pretty easy so stay tuned for the continuous build of this it's going to be pretty interesting very different um and every time things just get bigger and bigger so it's going to be pretty interesting to see how this this goes because um it's surprisingly big make sure you hit the like button and um subscribe if you haven't i'm going to see you all in the next video keen to get this done and filled up with some birds